Okay, so we're looking at summarizing numerical data. We were used doing that before as well, which was when we were using box plots, we were looking at the median, the Q1, Q3. But mainly when we will look, use those um, measures of um, summarizing, we uh, often have skewed data or with an outlier. So the next ones that we're going to look at is we're going to be looking at a lot of symmetric data and that's when we can use the mean and the standard deviation. So the mean is represented with an X and a line above it and you see it like that with your calculator and standard deviation is also is listed as S and X in your calculator. So we know that the mean is um, actually like the sum of all the numbers. So if you were working out the mean, we know you add up all the numbers and that's the way you can mathematically write, add up all the numbers. So that funny E thing means the sum and when they write X, they means it's sum of all the numbers there. And you can say divide by N. So N's how many people we have. So, um, yeah, so as we said before, the, there's measures of center. So we have um, two types. We can have the median or the mean here. So the, me the median, as we said, is good for when you have um, skewed data or presence of outliers because it is a resistance statistic. And the same is the IQR is also a better measure. So these two down here, obviously, when we have skewed, sorry, skewed or outliers. Okay. When we use the mean, we're going to see that it's symmetric. But it's okay to use the median on symmetric too. But we're going to be now looking at how we can use the mean. And we're also going to look at um, how we can use the standard deviation. So we're going to have a few new rules that we'll be using to um, use for these things. So down here, the formula for standard deviation has been given. So this should really read SX. Now, you don't ever have to use that. What I want you to do is use your calculators to find the standard deviation. But sometimes, just so you can see, see how the standard deviation uses the mean in there? And remember what we said about when we have a big outlier, Remember, that throws our average off, doesn't it? Yeah? So you can see it will throw the standard deviation off too because the standard deviation uses the mean in its formula. So just to be sure, you want to know that you can only use um, the mean and the standard deviation when symmetric. So symmetric or sometimes you might which is that bell shape. So they often say the bell shape. So remember symmetric, so in a histogram, we see like, oh, sorry, we see something like that, but in a box plot, we see these two middle boxes looking exactly the same in size. All right, just to today, you're only gonna do the first one, 2F, and we're gonna go over, you'll be practicing putting your list in and getting this data. So the following set of reaction times were given. So I've popped it into a list in my calculator. I gave my list a little name, RT, reaction time. Now to get all the stats, it's the same as when you go to get the Q1 and all that. Okay, so to get, remember you pop your list in. You've already done this before, but I'm practicing. So you pop your list in, press menu, you do stats, stat calc. Um, one variable you want to do and obviously you'll click for one list sorry one list and that you click OK and then I would pick RT for mine yeah just because I did now what they wanted to ask in the questions they want the N this is the total like number surveyed or whatever total number of data and if you type your list in it will tell you N in it. Um, so you can't see it here, but if you scroll down, there's one that says N, okay? And you can see the mean here. 
So, uh, which was, so there's the mean, 41.875. And if you're asked to find what are all the numbers summed up, we have it here in our calculator as well. It's right there, okay? So when we add all these numbers, if we added all these numbers up, they would get to 335. That's what that's telling you there, okay? Just to help you, just when you do this chapter, you'll see it and it'll be quick. All right, so just summing up, the mean and median are both okay for measures of center if it's symmetric, okay? If there's symmetric and no outliers, because even if it's symmetric but we have an outlier, it's not gonna be good to use the mean. We're gonna have to go back to the median, okay? So sometimes, so when you see that, what I'm talking about is you'll have the, like say you have a histogram that's symmetric, like that, but then there's one out here. That is symmetric with an outlier. You still would only use the median, yeah? Because this this one out here will drag the mean up, yeah? The mean will end up coming up here and that's not where all the data is, okay? So um, any skewed or outliers just use the median, but we're gonna see a whole lot in our next lesson of symmetric data and we'll be using the mean and standard deviation to show you some other things.